Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee. And I got I just got back from the Pinball Expo. And let me tell you, sometimes when you meet a bunch of new people, you need to just go back to your hotel room and take a nap. And then you come back out and you feel refreshed. And you look around and all the windows are gone. Sometimes... The windows are gone in your hotel room because you closed the curtains. But I'm becoming increasingly aware that very few people manufacture curtains out of wood. Also, there seems to be a sign here that says something, but it's all Greek to me. And I don't know, possibly like Armenian or Cyrillic. This is really not like my area of expertise. But you know what? That's fine. We got some chicken from Ollie earlier, and that has gone missing. The bed is also missing. Um, And apparently I have a bundle that opens barrels. So that can't be worse than the stick that stops me from punching trees. But we're not... this This is maybe not the best nap I've had. Okay. It does seem that we are at least, like, not completely trapped in some sort of saw-type situation. So, thank you to our mysterious hosts. I I forget what Ollie said that uh, hotel was part of. Like, it might have been part of uh, Hulia or Color Place or Chromia or something. But, okay. Let's just get our barons real quick. I don't see Stratus. Wait, is that the bridge we came in on? Okay, so I seem to have woken up in a water tower with a bunch of pumpkin seeds, a bunch of wheat seeds. There's some sort of creepy gridded jack-o'-lantern face there that's just looking at me, but now it's not. Um, Okay, so I don't want to have gone like full yakko, wacko, and dot here, but sometimes... You go to sleep in one place and you wake up in a water tower with a bunch of random stuff and a bottomless sack. And and there's just a little bit of life that we just have to accept is more cartoonish than we would prefer. Okay, uh, what other gear do I have here? We have a wooden axe. That would be helpful. Several bowls of stew, which somehow I have not managed to spill. A saddle, some bamboo. Okay. What we don't have is a spyglass. So let's go ahead. We got four amethyst shards here. I don't like the look of that thing. So if we can find some copper. Ooh, there's copper on that. Can you turn copper blocks back into... Is there a ladder up to those? Ah, dang it. It was double slabs. Who uses double slabs when other things would do? Oh, also, I realize now I'm going to have to... Okay, we're going to climb back up there, and we're going to put those back, since I have to climb back up there to... Yeah. In order to retrieve those. So, boom, boom. So, where can we get real copper? Like, actual copper. Now, I learned a trick. If you are in a boat, you don't take fall damage or something? Hey, no fall damage. Look at me, MLG Pro Gamer. Okay, so that's definitely the bridge we came in on, because that parrot there corresponds with the parrot that I saw when we came in. Ooh, is there a ladder or scaffolding or something up there? Oh, boy. You know, I I probably should get a closer look at that. But as I'm looking at that... Like, when we came through the portal on Grian's side, like, in the in the base, this was distinctly not completely dark. But when we came through on this side, I don't think I actually looked at it. So, there's a few parts of that. Um, one, maybe I should make a point of paying more attention when... Green has some shenanigans to actually look at them. Two, is the bridge still trapped? That would be good to know for science. 
Okay, Bridge doesn't seem to be trapped anymore. Presumably, this was indeed a big purple thing. Now it's not. I heard a horn. Hello? Hello? Is there anybody here with a goat horn? Or other kind of horn? This way to the big show. Huh. This is a smoking pit. We don't want to go there. Oink, oink. Oi, Mr. Madam. A coin for your troubles. Um, I guess I can... How about a bowl? Jimmy is, in fact, a toy. Well, I don't know what that means. Well, at this point, I've been able to confirm that the rift is closed and that there's an abandoned carnival. Um, hopefully the rift didn't eat the carnival or something. I don't really... Or festival? I don't know. I really don't have a fantastic grasp of what's going on here. But that's okay. We're just going to take this boat to get back to our boat. Because, you know, we don't want to leave our boat there. That would be rude. And there's the water tower we just woke up in. Ugh. I kind of feel... Like, maybe I should just start mining at this point. What about this? Is this a good cave to you? Oh, there's copper and... Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Coal? This might be a good cave to settle in. Do we have... We have torches. Ooh. And they light up if I put them in my hand. Okay, I think that I'm just gonna start a quick mine here. And hopefully be able to gather some materials while I try to meet up with somebody else. If you look down this stairwell here, you can see that I've dug greedily and deeply, but not too greedily, nor too deeply. Otherwise, I would have been killed by a Balrog, and then, I don't know, woken up in this bed instead of a water tower. So, hey, that's some progress. My furnaces here have rendered me some copper into actual ingots, which is going to allow me to do the opposite of whatever that was. Boom! Spyglass time. Inspect that rift. I mean, we, we just inspected it up close, but now we're inspecting it again with the spyglass. Well, I definitely feel spy-like. Let's uh, 007 our way maybe into having, I don't know, an actual chest plate or something. I got some rocks and some stuff, but we just really are not geared up as much as I would like for as chaotic an environment as this is. So here we go. Let's go delve a little bit more greedily a little bit more deeply. Time skip. Okay, I keep hearing a goat horn. I think that's probably one of the other hermits because they love goat horns. Hello, hello. Oh, I see a name tape. That's a good sign. Name tape. Tapes that name people. Woo. Let's see who it is. Joe, can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Cub. That's Barely. The... Okay, I'm on my way up. I can barely hear you. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I... Here. Come toward the... There you go. I found yep. you. We did it. Woo! Teamwork! Good horns for the win. Let's go. Yeah. <clears throat> How's it going, going, Joe? Oh, it's been a whole thing today. That's cool. That's cool. You doing some mining? Yeah, yeah. Do you need anything? I've got a, a, a bunch of copper. I've got some extra amethyst if you need to make a uh, zoom in. What do, you, what do you call those eye stethoscopes you're always looking at people with? Oh, yeah, the spyglass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you need uh, some, some amethyst shards, I got some of those. And then I got yeah, copper I could in use here, some. too. Cheers. Uh, yeah, that's great. I could actually use one of those. I'm going to make one right now, actually. Cool, cool. Yeah, I got a workbench and stuff, too. Do you need copper? Bada boom. Uh, I got copper. I got copper. Ah, fantastic. But, yeah, I yeah, know I'm that you, just, you enjoy those. Just stand back, Joe. Stand back. Whoa! There we go. Okay. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's a... Uh, it's a Abnormally large battle axe. You don't say! Check it out, check it out, check it out. Try it out for yourself. Okay, because see, I had a wooden axe. So I'm going to flip that to oh, my offhand yeah, yeah, yeah. for comparison. And then battle axe. Let me... <laughs> Do I look cool with this? <laughs> this looks amazing, yeah. Oh, it wow. Looks like, it looks like you, like, you know, like, this side, you're like one of the, one of the deadliest players on the server. This side... You're brand new. <laughs> I yeah. just started out. Day one. Daddy Axe and Baby Axe are going to the hardware store. 
Yep. <laughs> wow. Yep, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, geez. Thank you exactly. so much. That's a, that's fantastic. Here you go. Let me toss that back. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm still trying to really get oriented. I've been kind of wandering around. Looks like that rift over there is turned off, unfortunately. I saw that. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, it's can't go back. Yep. Yeah, yep. and I keep seeing ghostly pumpkins and finding, like, pumpkin seeds in my inventory. So, I don't know. Apparently, there's some sort of holiday that predates Halloween. Um, I don't know if you've heard of it. It's called, like, Sam Hummy or Sam Wayne or Same Juan or something. I don't know. But uh, it's about, like, liminal, like, thresholds between realities blending. So, my theory is... Hmm. Maybe the rift is linked to, like, that, or pumpkins, or, I don't know, it's also purple, and, like, Barney the Dinosaur is purple, so maybe this is, like, something from that, like, weird show where the toy turns into a big dinosaur. Stop me if I'm rambling here, do you know the one? <laughs> uh, I'm not really familiar with it, to be honest, but, I mean, maybe, maybe it would, maybe it would. Yeah, I don't know. I also woke up in a water tower, so there's like maybe an Animaniacs angle here. Maybe maybe we're going to be locked here for 70 years. I don't know how long the Animaniacs were in the tower. I didn't really prepare for this at all. I'm deeply unprepared for every part of this. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Did a little bit of monster hunting today with some folks, so that was fun. That oh, was that's fun. good. Yeah, this is... Welcome to my very, very humble home. Let me. I'm just going to open up the foyer here a little bit. Yeah, perfect. You got a little bed, you got a little smelting setup and everything. This is looking great. You got some copper aging, it looks like. Oh, yeah, yeah. I figured out I could just punch holes in the walls and just drop copper in. You know, I'm a regular cool. copper dropper here. Yeah, yeah. This goes down pretty far, man. I've been doing a lot of digging. Jeez. Oh, yeah, yeah. This actually, if you need <laughs> you, uh, uh, if you need a way to get to the, um, what do you call it, um, the deep slate layer, this uh -huh. actually opened up into a cave here oh yeah let nice. me show you this this is actually really impressive it opened up into a cave and uh oh if you have your spyglass you might even be able to see it down here all the way oh boy this is a weird angle on it i see some lapis yeah copper like down way way down here oh yo that's a glow squid right there i need i need a glow squid joe I'm oh well let's go get let's it go for it go 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 and also glow 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 that's <laughs> true, yeah. But oh, I was this is what I was gonna spyglass. There's this um this teal stuff. Got it. Down here, but you Let's see go. where the water goes? I'm standing. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, there's the some of this stuff. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if that's helpful. Ooh, there's but it there's is redstone here. here, that's helpful for sure. Oh yeah, wait. yeah. Some, some I think I might be able to Yeah, there we go. Can you pick that up, Joe? Yeah, I got some room. Wait, it's a yeah, skulk, skulk vein apparently. What is that used yeah, this for? Must be this must be close. Oh, we is close to the deep dark. Look back here, Joe. Wow, Ooh. that's a lot of lava, too. Holy smokes. I think, th yeah, that's like one lava source block that's just fallen all the way down here. So, is this, this is... stuff... Oh. Okay, apparently I can't pick it up with my normal pickaxe. Yeah, I got a silk touch uh, pickaxe oh. from somebody. I stole it from somebody. I, I heard stealing was wrong and that a sheriff would attack us. Yeah, that's what I heard, but I haven't seen a sheriff show up in a couple of days, so I think I'm good. I think I got away with it. You know, I really want to yell surprise, I'm the sheriff, and push you in the lava, but <laughs> you're like the first person I've seen in hours, and I don't want to burn you yeah. alive. I, I know it can raise your spirits. Here, here, take this and blow on that. <gasps> a goat horde. Oh boy, it's like being home. Yeah. I love it. That's so good. That's so good. Here, I'll give you, I'll give you your amethyst shards back too. These oh. are yours. Well, thank you. So I got the spyglass now. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate that. Yeah, I wasn't sure how much you needed, but yeah. So apparently, this is here if we need it. I'm not sure how much anyone yeah. needs whatever this is, but that's an option. We have an option. Yeah. Found some diamonds. Oh, nice. Oh, I hear another that's one of those stuff. sensor things. Right. Is that what that is? Yeah. There's definitely one like this way. I'm gonna try and find the cave. Should we go into a group, Joe? Yeah, that might be wise. So we don't uh, lose... Okay, let's do that. Okay, the G button just turns the gamma to 100. I don't know what's going on. Okay, there okay. we go. Should be in group. I'm in a group now. Can... Okay, good deal. Good deal. I'm, I'm still looking. I don't... I, this is not the ancient city. It's just the deep dark just so happens to be like a bunch...
sh- shriekers here? So if you activate There's a no shrieker, way. does it summon a warden even if you're not in an ancient city? Yeah, if you act if you uh like disturb it four times, then it will spawn a warden. Regardless of if you're in an ancient city or not. Oh, that's good to know. Okay. Now, now I actually have to be careful. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, I found a huge tunnel thing. Uh oh. I just got the um the uh darkness effect. The thing. blindness, yeah, yeah, yeah. Be careful, Joe. Be careful. We don't want to summon the warden. I take it I should okay. retreat while crouching. I'm gonna grab this. Yeah, probably a good idea. I'm I'm coming back. Uh, okay. Should we go? Should we go closer to investigate, or do we want to? I mean, what <laughs> do we hope safe? to learn? <laughs> I mean, that's a good point. But you went all. Yeah, you went down here. Oh, it does look like it might open up. I don't know. Do, should we check if there's an actual ancient city? That would be that would be something good to learn, right? This looks promising. Oh, there's a shrieker over there on the left. Okay, so be careful on the left. I'm holding down shift. Behind us. See if we find anything. It's really dark here, and I interest. Oh. Yeah, you can hold torches in your hand on this server to see. It's really nice that there's no mobs down here, but it's also kind of spooky. Hold on, that G button I hit before to join the group turns the gamma to fifteen hundred. Man, they have all sorts of weird stuff on here. So that means I can now see and what's this going one on. Dead ends. Okay, this looks like a dangerous room full of sensors and stuff. Yeah, I kind of want to break the block, but then again, I don't want the warden to be summoned. Huh, I wonder yeah, if maybe this we should, maybe we just Should we get out of here, Joe? What do you think? I don't know. I mean... I kind of feel like we should. Yeah, but, uh, like, I, I got my first diamonds, you got your fancy battle axe. Maybe we come back here in force? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Plus, we, this is not the ancient city. Yeah, unless part that yet. part back there connects, which I'm a little dubious about. Uh, can't really see any anything. Whoop, watch out! Uh oh, oh! I was crouching. I was crouching. Oh, run, Joe! Run, 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 run! Follow the torches. Follow the torches. Uh, Joe, I went over the wrong here, way. Over here. I went the wrong way. Go back. Go back. Go back. What if I stand still? Is that worse? Uh, I would. I would keep moving. Okay, then I'm gonna follow the I torches. Sl slowly move. Yep. I'm oh, running. slowly move. I'm you running. said run. Yeah, yeah. Run, run, run. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. All right, he can't. He can't make it past the, this part here. He's too you tall. You say that very confidently. <laughs> yeah, come on, come on up this way, Joe. Okay. We're uh, gonna, which way is the way back? Oh my god. Okay, it's uh, it's down there, I think. Yeah, you're going the right way. I'm hearing a squishing okay, he's noise. Gone. Does he's that mean gone. he's left? He's gone, Joe. Yep, we're fine. We're fine. Yeah. Just nothing like a nice, relaxing swim after a brush with death. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I was worried when he went the wrong way. I'm going to be honest. I, I didn't know if you were going to make it. <laughs> you know, come. Here's the fun uh, part is I don't know enough to be worried. I'm like, oh, this will be fine. I'll, I'll be fine. <laughs> and then when you're worried, I'm like, oh, no. If Cub's worried, then I'm really screwing up. <laughs> nice. Nice. Those things can be pretty scary. Yeah. Also, your copper is aged. How about that? Hey, it's effective. <laughs> you know, I down. figure no matter what the server runs on currency-wise, the most valuable currency is always time. And so if I can age some copper, I can find somebody to trade with, you know? That's very true. That's very true, Drew. No doubt about that. Good news, everybody. In the process of looking for trees, I seem to have found Pixel Riffs, who is kind of like a tree, in that <laughs> someone planted the seed in his brain to do a recap of the Hermitcraft server stuff, and then he grew into a majestic... Well, don't don't look at that one. That one's just three leaves left. But <laughs> somewhere over there, there's a more exemplary tree. I grew into a mighty media empire as a result. Hi, Joe. Um, Hi. I noticed... I noticed that you were getting impaled by drowned over and over again, so I decided to bring you some food. You are a peach. Uh, yeah, these 62 cooked pork chops will be dearly, dearly appreciated and devoured. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, and uh, you can get some more from the goblin statue over there on the bridge. You should also check out the Sword of Sanctuary when you have time. It's the, the giant sword over there with the red handle. That's usually got a bit of free gear in it. So if you're having trouble getting geared up or you just want a quick start here, that's usually a good place to go. The Sword and... of Sanctuary. I like the alliteration. Yeah, yeah, no, we, we're all about that. So <laughs> it helps with the lore. Yeah, we got the Goblin of Grub, the Sword of Sanctuary. What's up with the Water Tower? I woke up in there earlier and I don't remember being named Yakko, Wacko, or Dot. <laughs> it's not quite the WB Water Tower. It's no. It's more like the Water Tower of Tumbletown, which is alliterative if you don't count the W. Okay, I won't. Uh, it'll just be the Tower of Tumbletown <laughs> from now on. The water is silent. You That's how it drowns you, you without expectation. <laughs> the, 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 the silent W. I like it. Yes. So, um, yeah. Well, while we're talking on the subject of water, if you wanted to get your own back on some of these drowned, I might have a trident somewhere that I can I can lend you. I would really appreciate being lent a trident, but you know, if I could trade you for a trident, uh, let's see, I've got, ooh, how about 64 raw copper? That actually might have value. Is that? Oh, that's, is copper that's valuable actually here? superb. I am working on a copper aging machine right now that spreads out the copper for you so you don't have to place it by hand. So copper is actually really valuable to me right now. Thank you so much. I will go look at, oh, yeah, wow, there's more. Okay, wow, that's that's really going. I will go away. I will mold this, tri this copper into a trident for you and uh, I will be right back. One thing I was able to do was I was able to fix the sleep at night text. It was really freaking me out that it stayed the same size on this server, so. I adjusted my glasses a little bit so the text will expand more. This is just such a comfort to me. Anyway, uh, here you are. I have a Riptide 2 Trident for you. I'm afraid that's the what? best I could do in terms of enchantments. But yep, looks like you've got the hang of it. I love Riptide. Oh boy, this shield though really just eats half my point of view when I... <laughs> yeah, the, the shield and the Trident combo is not always the best. But you never see Aquaman carrying a shield, do you? No, no, that's Captain Aquamerica. <laughs> yeah, he he tends to throw the trident and the shield, and then he gets confused between the two of them. Anyway, hopefully that will uh, that will get you around here a little bit faster. Is that copper machine you said you were working on? Is that something that that you're ready to show now? Because I'm actually kind of I was um, thinking about it while you were gone, like how that would work, and I have no idea how that would work. It's kind of a work in progress, but I can give you a like. There are a couple of modules of it that already work, so I can give you like a a basic tour right away, and then it'll look a lot more impressive later. It seems like you mentioned that there's elements from different people's areas or bases, or are they called empires here? Is that like actually? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, that's t typically they're empires. Sometimes they're kingdoms. Other times they're something else. But like empires is the the general term we give them. Gotcha. So like this one with the amethysts, that's like a different empire. Yeah, that is Animalia. Well, that's um or Animalia. I forget how they <laughs> pronounce it, but that's that's Lizzie's empire. She uh, deals in amethyst most of the time. Okay, and that's opposite of Animania. Got it. Mhm. Mm yeah. And yeah. You're, you're catching on. You said sort of sanctuary, so that's sanctuary empire. Yes, that is mythical sausages empire sanctuary. Oh, okay. And then what's the uh, one opposite the sword? Uh, the floating island there is uh, Stratos, so that's uh, oh. Joel. Just has a bed up there. I think he likes to sleep up there and look down on all of us peasants. It does look cozy. And then, so then there's a basalt empire and a llama empire? The the ones with just basalt pillars are really kind of unclaimed right now. Like, there's, mm. uh, I, if anything, I'm the basalt empire, but I don't really have a thing on this bridge because the bridge is my whole thing. So uh, there's bridge. a couple here that aren't claimed yet. Yeah, <laughs> this was this was episode five for me. Uh, I, I had a, a lot of fun designing this. Oh, I see what you mean. So you just, so these basalt pillars were pre-existing. That one just hasn't been. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And maybe there have been towers here at some point that have kind of crumbled in the meantime, but the empires that exist in the here and now have kind of made each tower their own. Very cool. This is this is great. And then, uh, let's see, I don't know where those go, but I'm assuming we go through the big old door here? Yeah, yeah, come on through here. Um, this is kind of the, the main street that leads up to my empire, and none of the buildings are finished yet. They're all just kind of placeholders, so <laughs> ignore these as we go. Well, that's fair. Do you need somebody to, like, I don't know, turn one of these into a tavern or a whatever? Like, is that the sort of stuff you're looking for? Because hermits love building stuff. Yeah, potentially in a, in a little while. But I'm, I'm kind of working on the designs of the exteriors right now. And that's really oh. where the copper comes in, actually. Because gotcha. if, if you take a look down the hill on this side, we can kind of hop off the side of the road here and, and walk on down. Um, over there in the distance, the building with the copper and prismarine roof over there... Uh, that's my museum, so mm -hmm. this is where I've been keeping some of the artifacts from this, uh, the series so far. 
and I really liked the design of that roof, and I kind of thought, I want to do a lot more of that. But for that, I needed a lot of copper. So that's kind of why I'm on the project I'm on right now, where I'm putting together this copper aging machine and uh, trading with, with folks like you who are happy to give me some copper. This is the ancient capital, so this is an area where you know, potentially millennia ago, people came and settled here, and since then the whole thing has fallen into ruin. There were lots of different civilizations here, all bringing different aspects of science and technology and the arts and everything, and most of the, the buildings have kind of crumbled. But I'm here restoring them, I guess. If anything, I'm kind of mm -hmm. like a, a historian or an archaeologist digging up fragments of the past here. Oh, that's fantastic. It's, it's good work if you can get it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so if you want to come on down into the uh, the catacombs here, this Ooh. is kind of where I've I've been setting up. A lot of my storage and stuff is down here. I kind of dress the whole thing up to look like a, a series of tombs, but it's really also just where I keep all of my stuff. So uh, a little bit of grave robbing happens every single day here. Oh, that's fantastic. And sometimes you could even like put things into graves. Like you could go full Montresor if you wanted. Uh, it can kind of be like a geocaching thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it can like le leave little gifts in there for people to find. Uh, but down here, this is there's going to be a secret door covering this eventually, but it's kind of an open secret at this point. Ooh. This is my copper aging room. So this is kind of a relic of Empire's Season 1, actually. This is what I did basically on the last iteration of this server. And each of these redstone servers, it's here holds a block of copper in stasis lets it age a few things uh, a few times and the observers here detect that and automatically return all of the copper once it's done aging so i can give you a quick demonstration of that if you'll sure. hold on there whilst i i fiddle with the redstone a little bit yeah i can i can fall in all sorts of holes i'm great at things <laughs> yeah no there's there's a lot of observation holes i call them uh so i'm just gonna rearrange some of the shovels in here that are basically counting for the redstone circuit. I manually place the new copper, but it, it gets attached to a flying machine. And then the flying machine comes down this part of the room and collect, and the, the circuits on each side collect the copper. And then the flying machine collects the copper a second time once it's all aged and ready to return. Huh. Once I remove this, okay, that should activate the collection. And now all of the copper blocks will get collected down this side of the room. How does it co collect them? Does it just... They're just getting stuck on the um, slime. On the slime blocks. And yeah. it just pushes and then the they, whole thing. They arrive down the room attached to the two different arms of the flying machine. And then you break off the copper that you want. So, like, all of this stuff that's done aging, I can just collect all of this. And then I attach some fresh copper to the slime blocks again. And I send it back down the room so it uh, deposits it all back in the machine. Wow, that is really, really smart. Good job, Pix. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, like a, a few people have looked around this now and everyone seems to be quite impressed by it. So evidently I'm doing something right. Yeah, keep at it. And you said this is not even decorated yet and you're going to have this like then look like some sort of creepy catacomb thing or something? Oh, yeah, yeah. So so this machine is supposed to have been here for a while. Like it's been installed by people who are now long gone. Uh, so the whole thing is going to be working, but it's going to feel like the area around it has kind of fallen into disrepair. Like nobody's been in here sweeping the floors, getting the spiders out of the corners, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Very Stargate Atlantis. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, that's the vibe for sure. If I hit this observer on this side here, if you watch the copper going down the room, each of those circuits will grab a copper block as the flying machine goes past, and they'll just hold it there until they're ready to finish aging. Wow. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Pix, for showing me this. Um, I'm, I'm sure you're busy, uh, so I might head back and keep working on my own stuff. But if I get any extra copper or whatever, I will definitely oh, yeah. uh, send it your way. Thank you. No, I appreciate that. Because, uh, yeah, even if you want to bring some copper down here and age it sometime for your own builds, then uh, as long as there's a, an empty line of the machine, you're welcome to use it. I, I would be terrified to try to turn one of these things <laughs> on myself. I'm I'm gonna aim to make it as user friendly as possible. It's just figuring out the the innards of the machine right now. It's like I don't tend to work on cars or anything, but mm -hmm. I'm fine driving one. So I I feel like if I can make that experience uh, work out for people here, then I'll have done my job right. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, hey, if you need somebody to come in and test your instructions. <laughs> I can be right. a far too literal person. I can take those instructions <laughs> and I can see what's the worst possible way to interpret this. 
Yeah, okay. I, I like that. I like that idea. You can you can see if my machine is uh, truly idiot-proof. Or at least the instructions. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, that sounds good, Joe. And uh, thank you so much again for the copper. And hopefully you get some good use out of that trident. Oh, thank you. I'm really excited about that. Yeah, straight up there. And uh, if you take a right and then a right again, you should be back at the entrance. This place does get a little maze-like for people, though. Oh, no. A catacomb so that you can be lost or trapped in forever. Like, that's just a catacombs. <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> okay, I think I got it. Thanks, Fix. Walk towards daylight. <laughs> I see, see the light. See you soon, Joe. Bye. Don't be a stranger. Will do. So a stranger, of course, is a low-level operative for the Guild of Calamitous Intent, and Pix does not want us to become associated with them. But anyway, that's just a little bit of extra lore for you, because apparently that's the thing they like saying around here. You. Because you are special. Remember that. Howdy! How's it going? Good. I'm just heading back to our little area. It's super far from here. Wait, uh, who is our... Yeah, they, they, we, they, we're making a little settlement. The, you know, hermits. Oh, okay. See, that. Are, that, are, you, the not, are you not joining in on it? I don't... This is the first time I'm being invited. Oh, <laughs> okay. So apparently the antecedent <laughs> well, can... for our little area is like all of us, not just you yeah, and yeah, somebody all, else all, that all I know. All hermits welcome. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, all hermits welcome. Yeah, uh, we got to I mean, we're in a new place, man. We have no place to settle down, so we got to do this, right? Yeah, yeah, if you look over here, get a little area. I've got like a little bamboo, oh, you can't see it because of that pillar. But yeah, basically I've got a little bamboo grove going and a little mine, oh. but I mean, I'm it's temporary. I'm happy to relocate. Where would I go to find this area? Yeah, it's just uh straight across. Actually, you might even be able to see the wheat from here. If you look in that direction, you see the tall wheat straight ahead? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Through the trees there. Okay, that's not far. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Yep, it's right there. So uh, come on over whenever you like. Bring your bring your stuff. We'll start up some starter farms and stuff. I'm going to go over there, start digging away and collecting some materials myself, actually. Sounds good. Yeah, so I'll that's, that's uh, my grab my stuff and I'll probably meet you guys over there then. So is there any, like order to this like you you said that we're doing this like is there somebody who's in charge of planning where we put plots or anything like that yeah i think uh i think i would reserve this space right here for like a okay. future home if you will like some sort of build that we can all stay in and then anywhere kind of like i was gonna start building my little things just kind of off the back here so it's kind of just not on top of this mm -hmm. okay. so yeah i mean if you go out like i don't know I don't know, 30 blocks or so from, from like where this totem, this little totem thing is right here. Okay. Probably good. Yeah, a little sheriff. Got it. So yeah, yeah. Anywhere on this little well, I don't even know if this is an island, but yeah. Yeah. Feel free. I'm gonna I'm gonna go off the back here and probably dig a hole and start some farms. So Awesome. That yeah, I'll, my plan for today. I'll probably build a little shelf house or something into the cliff, maybe overlooking the bay. Yeah, oh yeah. That Sounds way, good. Yeah, you know, even if somebody else needs to build up, I won't be in their space. So Awesome. Cool, cool. cool. Thanks, Sounds Impulse. good. Yeah, I'm going to be just off the back here. You bet. I'm really grateful to Impulse for showing me all of this uh, fantastic hermit stuff up here. You know, we got a community workbench. We got a chest that might not have community stuff in it. Ooh, although I do want that mending book. I don't have a good way to combine it with anything. I don't have an anvil yet. I did do some mining. Got some more diamonds. Got some diamond gear. But the biggest thing I did not want to be was an embarrassment to my fellow hermits. You know, now that Impulse is rounding people up and having them, you know, work over here, I thought, you know what, my starter house should kind of get a little upgrade. What is this? It's a tiny pumpkin farm. Aww, it's adorable. And it's ready for Halloween! <gasps> oh my gosh. What? What? <laughs> Did Scar do that? I haven't thrown away any pumpkins. Where did that come from? Where? I literally left... Okay. Okay. Anyway, I've got my little house here. I've got a patio with a few chairs with a great view of the bridge uh, from our friend Pixel Riffs. And I got two chairs down here with our uh, non-pixelized riff. This is just a general cubic rift i don't know so we got a good look at all the rifts i think that we are ready to go 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 
with whatever the hermits throw, throw, throw at us next. Although, realistically, I think we might need to be throwing stuff at them. Now that I got my little patty overlook here all done, I think the next thing for me to do is see if I can round up anybody else and try to get folks helping maybe build some sort of communal resource thing here. Because, like, that was something Cleo and I always wanted to get done with HHH on the other server. And we just never quite got to build in that. I mean, Asuma kind of stole some of the wind out of our sails with his own depot. Um, and so maybe it's time for us to try and put a real hermit depot in here. I don't know. I haven't actually found Cleo yet on this server. And I don't know what she thinks. But you know what? I'll, maybe I'll find new friends and, and work with them on it. We'll figure it out. But either way, the sun is setting here on Hermitcraft 9 Empires 2. Until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring. And don't look directly into the sun with a telescope. You will burn your eyes out. Oh, yeah, happy Halloween!